Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to show you something that I've been working on all summer. Uh, this summer I registered in um, a photo class, Advanced Photography, and it was pretty much self-paced. We were able to create our own assignments and do whatever we want. We just had to build something over the summer and I have been working my butt off along with working a part-time job and I'm almost finished. <laughs> Classes start next Monday and I can't stop but I have um, one more this week for the portfolio and I have another one that's kind of more of a job, a uh, photo job and I think that's it. I could possibly squeeze in one more, but I think I might save it for the semester. Uh, but that's that's a secret, because I meant to do it like a year ago. Um, but anyways, to kind of keep myself organized, I created a binder, and I called it the Fashion Binder. I blogged about it on Tumblr, and I showed the outside of it, and kind of the inside of it, but I didn't really go beyond that. And I kind of forgot about it for a while, um, sort of. I just wasn't able to buckle down and really figure out what was going to go in it. But a couple days ago, I realized what I really wanted to do, and now, except for me putting in this last assignment, it is done, and it is full, and it is nice. <laughs> and I'm very excited to show people, so I will show you. Not all of it, but just a little peek of what it is. So pretty much originally with this fashion binder, I was going to use it to gather my ideas, uh, write down notes, things like that, just to kind of keep myself organized with what I want to accomplish with uh, my fashion photography related assignments this summer, because that's, that's my entire goal was with this class, I was going to work more on my fashion photography so that when I start turning in my portfolio for internships next summer, I would have a stronger portfolio than what I had and, of course, what they would want to see, fashion-related photos. And, of course, I was inspired by different fashion photographers, so my projects reflected a lot on those, so I would you know, write down notes about those, um, and gather pictures from those, and that's what was in the binder originally, but it just, it just didn't feel like it was my binder. I just felt like it was a binder of other photographers' works, and I, I just, I just didn't like it. So instead, now I have, um, key photographers that I was looking into this summer, and I have my interpretation of a series that they did that I wanted to accomplish and now I have my interpretation of their work. So here is the outside of the binder. It says Vogue. I designed this myself. Um, well these were brushes through Photoshop and this is well, of course a picture I found. And you know the little vintage borders. You know, it's, just, it's just cutesy. And then on the inside like on the first page, I have Andrea Claren, who is someone I looked into a lot, and um, pretty much what I did, hold on, um, I would write down what I think about the photographer and where they're just where they're from, uh, their main website, and then the series of work that I like. And if it has a heart next to it, that means that I want to do that project one day or something like it. Um, or it was just my favorite. And the one that I did by Andrea Claren was Wild Rose. Of course, his was black and white. He was, his was indoors, but it had branches and roses within the house. And the model was nude, and I'm a full supporter of nude photography. I understand it makes some people uncomfortable, but I find nude photography very natural, um, beautiful, and elegant, you know, if done correctly. Of course, there's a difference between artistic nude photography and pornography, but I, I don't do anything that's pornographic. It's just it's just the model as she is. I normally don't have my models wear makeup. I try to have their hair mm -hmm. 
you know, not done. I tell them just, just come as is, hair down, whatever. And I normally get some pretty good results. Uh, so I'll just show you the, well, well here's my interpretation. <laughs> um, I show the location, the models, um, either the attire, since there wasn't any, um, just what I would like to use, um, my lighting techniques, my photo goals, backup locations, times, and editing options. Uh, this, this is my, my notes of how I'm going to do it differently. So I did it in color, so I do have black and white editions, but I only posted on my website the, the color edition. I think I had a couple black and whites. So here I'm just going to show you the headshot. This is the beautiful Eileen Wagner. She always volunteers to do work for me. Um, it looks completely different than what he had done. Actually, I think maybe I'll to show you. Let me see. This is his his headshot. Here is mine. So that's pretty much what I do. And skip through these. I, I did, um, I have Richard Warren. He's another one of my favorites. And of course, like I said, I have What I Like About Him, Where He's From series that I want to accomplish. Now this one I won't show because I'm actually not very proud of what I did because I was experimenting. It was my first time using different colored lighting. Uh, and I didn't have enough lights since they were floodlights. I thought I would only need you know, one of each color since it was in a closed room, but turns out I need many as well as white floodlights. So I won't show you that one, but that one is posted, but I will be redoing that one. And then uh, Gabriel Regan, another one of my favorites, and I did um, his Cemetery Story, which I think is um, one of his favorites. I was watching an interview with him, and he seemed very proud of that work. And I am too, which is what inspired me to do it. So here's just a sneak peek of what I did. Again, these are all on my website, uh, tmhphotography.squarespace.com. But, you know, I um, it's filled with a bunch of my works. Oh, you can't see that one. But I'll, I'll go ahead and talk about it. My biggest project this summer was a project on personality disorders. A lot of what I like to do is take real issues and either stage them, which is what I would prefer not to do, but with this one it would be very difficult to find subjects with each of these personality disorders. There were 11, um, so like with another upcoming project that I'm doing, it's going to be very real, real people. Uh, I, I did a project from um, the Men's Rescue Mission, and then there's this one, and I researched each of the um, very common personality disorders, and I took a look into the mind of the people that uh, have these disorders. Of course, none of these models have these disorders, but it's just my interpretation of them, uh, a more extreme, over-exaggerated version of these disorders, and I think it turned out very, very well. I was going to show it once I finished. It took me a month. And while also moving and working, so it was actually pretty difficult, but I'm surprised I got it done in a month. Uh, I was going to show the series once I was finished on the internet, but I decided that I want to try to enter it to have an exhibit at my university, uh, either this fall or in the spring, and have these on the wall, described, all of that for everyone to see, and I'll invite anyone that would like to come. Uh, so, you know, I'll keep you posted whether it happens or not. If once the exhibit happens, I'll most gladly put it on the internet, and if it doesn't happen, then I'll put it up anyways, and maybe I'll try to get an exhibit elsewhere, or I'll save it for my senior show in the spring. Uh, but that's it. Um, I have one more photo shoot coming up, and I'll update you on that. But that is my little binder. It's 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 thick. It's thick. I, I like it. It keeps me on top of things, and I really enjoy it. But that'll be all for today. And like I always say, leave comments, video responses, advice, anything that you would like to say to me. Bye.